Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Flextail Tiny Bike Pump Portable Electronic Pump. Although bike technology has come a long way, nearly all bikes still use air tires which need to be maintained regularly or refilled if you have a puncture. The new Flextail Tiny Bike Pump is a portable electronic pump that has a compact form factor of a CO2 canister but has a rechargeable and reusable design. Easy packaging wise, really simple. You have a nice illustration of the pump, which is again, super tiny, which matches the tiny bike pump name. You have the basic specs and instructions on the back and how to convert the valve to use different valve designs. We'll go ahead and take this out of the box and go over the specs. Retail price on this is $99.99. So fairly expensive for a little bike pump. It has a 100 PSI max. So it is actually pretty powerful despite the small size. It is Presta and Schrader compatible, so you can use this on mountain bikes or road bikes by just converting the cap on here. It is USB Type-C rechargeable with a 350 milliamp battery on the inside that can be charged in about 25 minutes. It also has a SOS light, so the power button is illuminated, so you have a nice backup light if you were to need it. As far as what comes with it, you can see we have the bike pump. It has a little silicone cover which helps kind of dissipate some of the heat and vibration. But a nice aluminum construction underneath. You have the multi-language instruction manual here that shows you how to use it. Basic plastic tray. And then underneath that, we have some of the other accessories. So USB Type-C charging cable. You do have a lanyard, just in case this thing were to go fly off or to carry it easy. You also have the converter for the ball attachment. So you can remove that cap and then put this in its place. You have a little Velcro piece of tape. So this is what you can use to attach this to your bike and potentially use this as a taillight. And then you have this little conversion piece here. You have the spare rubber piece. So there already is one on the inside. You have an extra piece here, which is nice. And then this is a Schrader specific part that you'd have to put on the inside to use this with a Schrader valve. Now let's take a look at the weight of the pump. Here we have the Presta valve setup and the silicone cover, and that comes in at only 133 grams, so pretty lightweight. The Flextail Tiny Bike Pump lives up to its name with a compact 2.7 by 1.6 by 1.1 inch compact size, which easily fits inside your pocket. It's honestly not much larger than a CO2 canister, and even shorter than larger CO2 canisters. It's a miniature electronic pump, with this aluminum housing on the outside. So if we pull off this little cover, you can see nice aluminum construction. And a majority of this is actually an internal battery. Most of the compressing part is here with the motor and then the nozzle attachment. You have a nice glossy black finish, but you'll probably just want to keep the silicone cover on there as it provides a little protection from the heat and vibration. Basic braining on here with flex tail on each side. Some of the safety regulation stuff underneath with the USB Type-C charging port. You also want to make sure not to cover this up so when you're actually using this, this actually serves as a little air port to let air outside it so you don't want to cover it up. And it's placed pretty nicely so you shouldn't actually be covering it up in traditional use. A single power button on one side and you can see the protruding nozzle on the other. This all can come off as well so you can twist this off and then swap out the components if you want to go to a Schrader or do the ball attachment. You can also see operation. This is really simple. So single power button. So when I turn it on, you get this nice little jingle, which you don't traditionally see with a lot of electronic devices. So it's kind of cool here. You can see it's illuminated red. When you're charging it up and it's fully charged, it'll go green. Otherwise there's no battery status. And this serves as the SOS light, which you'll see on their website product listing. So you can actually attach this to your bike using a little Velcro strap and it can double as a dim, but usable taillight. Holding it turns it on and off. So if I hold it again, you can see it'll just shut off and there's no jingle when it shuts off. A single press turns it on. So once you have it powered on, a single press is turned on and you can hear it's fairly loud. And then another press will turn it off. So because of the compact size, it'll be noisy compared to a traditional pump. So if you have other people in the house, they're definitely going to hear it. You can also see the lanyard attachment here on top. So you have a little cutout on these little ridges, but otherwise pretty simple and easy to hold as well as it's fairly ergonomic. So you can easily grab this and attach it to your valve. 
As far as battery life, it really depends on what you're doing. It has a 350 milliamp battery on the inside that can be charged up in 25 minutes. And it depends on how big of a tire you have and what inflation level you want to get to. For a traditional 700 by 25 c tire, it takes about 50 to 60 seconds to get to 60 PSI. And you can do that four times, so you can reuse it four times without having to recharge it. If you want to go higher, everything goes down and it takes longer. So if you want to get to the 100 PSI, which is fairly high, that's about 150 to 160 seconds and can only be done once. So this is a great way to top off your tire, so you can use this quite a few times. But if you're really doing it flat, depending on your tire setup, this may be a one-time use or a two or four-time use. So it really depends on what the pressure is. But it's definitely a lot faster than a traditional hand pump. And it is reusable, so you can always recharge this on like a CO2 canister. Now let's take a look at the flex tail in action. Here we have our Zentis. So you can see flat tire. This is a 700 by 23. So I'll plug it in. And then press the button. So you can hear that, it's quite loud and there's quite a bit of vibrations too. So it gets a little bit annoying for longer pumps, but you can see it works really well. I didn't have to bring out a floor pump and I have decent pressure already. One of the most direct comparisons with the Flex Tail is the Psych Plus Q. It's almost identical in size. You can see this one's just a little bit wider and instead of having the rounded off top, it's just square. You also have this nice metallic silver finish, which looks really cool. This also has an optional silicone cover but you can see without it, it's almost identical. They both have these illuminated power buttons. You don't get the cool jingle that you do with the flex tail. And if you compare the noise level, they're pretty similar. They're both pretty loud. So if I do the flex tail, then I do the Psych Plus, you can see they're both high pitched and pretty loud, but that's because they're so small. Battery life is also very similar, and the price on the Psych Plus is about $10 cheaper than the Flex Tail, but you don't get the additional attachments that you do with the Flex Tail, so that's one added benefit. And both of these are both really tiny, so if you compare this to CO2 canister, you can see the CO2 canister, even in the 16 ounce threaded variation, is actually a little bit longer. So it's about two CO2 canisters wide, but actually a little bit shorter, so very easy to travel with. And if you compare this to a mini pump, like the Topic Rody two-stage, a lot of these more fancy ones like this are two-stage, so it actually has dual chambers, which lets you go faster. But even with this, you're gonna be sitting on the side of the road doing 100 to 200 pumps. So it takes quite a bit of time compared to something like this, which can be done in about 60 seconds, depending on your pressure level. Now let's go over the pros and cons of the Flextail Tiny Pump. What we like about it is it has a compact size, very easy to travel with, and it's almost as small as a CO2 canister. It also works with Presta, Schrader, or inflatable ball, so you have a lot of options. And it's quick charging with a USB Type-C port, which lets you charge it up within 25 minutes. The main negatives with the pump is the fact that it does have a premium price at $100, costs as much as a floor pump, and you have no multi-level battery status indicator, so you don't really know how much battery is left inside it. Also, you have strong vibrations when it's being used, which can be a little bit uncomfortable if you're doing multiple tires. Taking everything into account would give the pump an 8.0 out of 10. It's a nice pocket size inflator that gives you the compact size of a CO2 canister but makes it reusable. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclists. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.